want to be a data analyst in a consulting firm, Excel is probably the best and definitely most widely used tool for the job. Please like, share, subscribe Data by Sip. If you want to be a data analyst in a consulting firm, one of the things that you need to have absolute mastery on is data crunching. Especially if you work closely with strategy office, you will realize not every time you are dealing with a big data. Depending on which department you work, with almost 80% of time, you'll be dealing with data set which is few hundred to few thousands lines of data. And Excel is probably the best and definitely most widely used tool for the job. So if you want to be a consulting analyst, you have to be a master in Excel. Today I'm going to show you three absolutely must concept of data analysis in Excel. So let's start analyzing sales and marketing data of a toy company. Here we have three year sales data of a toy company, a company which sells a toy motorcycle, toy cars, toy trains and toy buses. And you see uh, the sales data is having the order number, the order quantity, each price, then the sales, the order date, the shipping addresses, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So what we'll try to do, we'll try to find out the quality of the data we were given. In order to do that, let's convert this data into a table first. So select the entire table and press Ctrl T and it creates a table. Now right click anywhere in the table and click get data to open the Power Query window. So let's rename the table as sales table. Yeah, it's done. And you see price should be a decibel number, but I can see a few text here. So let's change it to a decimal number. And you see few errors are there. So let's see what the error is. So it's a data type error. There could be many of such errors. So to check that, click view and click column quality and column profile. And that will open up the entire statistics of each of the columns. Let's see if there is any other data quality issue anywhere. Scroll, scroll, looks good, looks good, looks good. Yes, address line. Almost 89% of address line 2 is empty, but that can be the case as well. But yes, postal code. This is definitely a data issue because 4% of the rows are empty and without a postal code, shipment cannot happen. So definitely we need to have a look in that. And it says that out of 1,000 rows, 41 rows doesn't have any data. So definitely that has to be a data quality issue. Rest looks well. So on overall, the data is not in very bad shape, but there are few erroneous rows. So it's a choice what to do with those errors. What we can do, we can get this error out. So removing the error and save it. Now we have a new sales table with relatively clean data. The next things all analysts will realize that all information they need are not in one table. So let's take that as an example. Just now we created sales table, which has the sales number, but it does not have a marketing number. And the marketing numbers are in a different Excel or in a different sheet. Now suppose you need to find out how your marketing is helping your sales. And in order to do that, you have to merge these two tables. Typically database developers will load these tables in a database like SQL Server. But Excel has a trick under its sleeves so that you can merge these two tables without loading this data into a database server. Let's see how you do that. And for that, we need to do Power Query again. Now, in order to do that, let's convert this into a table by clicking Control T. Go to the Power Query window. Rename this table as Marketing Table. Now, what you have to do, you have to join the Sales Table and Marketing Table. And in order to do that, Click Merge Queries. 
So your first table is marketing table and then click this sales table. So it works like a typical join in a database server. So since our sales table is large, let's do a right outer join and we will join based on year ID, month ID and product line. And let's find the same here, year ID, month ID and product line. Click it and you have a join table. Let's change the name to unified table. By default, it shows the complete first table and the collapsed second table. You have to select the number of columns that you need from the second table. So see, we need all the columns here. And if you select all the columns, there will be duplicate columns like your year ID, month ID, and product line. So let's remove those columns and your March table is ready. Now quickly close and load. Now you have all sales and marketing data in one table and that makes life easy. Now that we have merged the sales and marketing spend information in one place, still one crucial data property is left to be checked. It's outliers. Outliers may significantly affect decision outcomes. So it's absolutely must that even before you start, you need to analyze those outliers. Let's try to find out if there are any outliers between sales value and marketing spend. There are many ways to find it, but today we will see how we can identify it visually. Let's draw a scatter plot of marketing spend and sales, where marketing is in X axis and sales is in Y axis. And now let's copy this to a new clean sheet for better visibility. If you notice, most of the data pointers are within a certain zone except few. Hence, these are probably the outliers. But you know, one problem with this approach, that's you need to identify the outliers one by one only. There are more advanced approaches of identifying outlier as well. If you know it, please put that in the comment below. Sometimes we need to analyze this outliers little more. So let's create a few sliders, copy that in a new sheet, arrange them a bit, and we are good here. Now let's try to analyze this outliers a little more. Let's see if it is for cars. No, it seems pretty consistent. Is it for motorcycle? Yes, clearly there are quite a few outliers. Now let's see, is it for any particular year? 2003 data seems pretty clear. What about 2004? Yes, I, we can see some outliers there. What about 2005? Yes, there are few outliers. So that means, if you look at the data set in motorcycle for the year 2005 and 2004, there are few outliers. Now suppose you get this Excel on a Friday evening just before you are heading towards a party and your boss need you to submit some kind of analysis based on this by end of the day. It's a big tension. At one hand, it's your boss who asks for information. and the other hand, it's your friends who are waiting in the pub for you. Don't worry. What you have to do, you just have to click Analyze Data. So what it does, the AI engine behind it automatically suggests different insights that can be generated out of this particular Excel sheet. You just have to give Excel a couple of minutes. See, it automatically generated so many reports that your boss might be interested at. Let's see, one. It gives you a count of the order per product line. And suppose you're not happy with this and you need something different. All you have to do, you have to ask a question to Excel. Let's ask this question. Provide the 
सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग स्पेंड पर प्रोडक्ट लाइन पर ईयर वॉयला एक्सेल यूनिट सेट रिपोर्ट फॉर यू नाउ यू आर हैप्पी द रिपोर्ट इज डन एंड यू कैन हेड फॉर द पब प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब डेटा बाय सेट